We have team coverage for you tonight of the destruction and the cleanup. And let's start with our John Atwater, who is live right now in Yarmouth. What a mess, John. Uh, it sure is, Maria. You know, you walk around this neighborhood, you see all kinds of damage, different kinds of damage. This tree brought down right by the roots here, but then you go around, you see some trees snapped off about 20 feet up, and then Look at this one. This one was twisted up. You look in there, you see it all twisted up. And as you mentioned, the National Weather Service now confirms that a tornado did hit this area. It's terrible. I mean, look at the damage. I've never seen anything like this. Dozens of trees twisted and snapped in the fierce winds. Quarter of a century, and this is like the craziest thing we've ever seen. Leaving people in this South Yarmouth neighborhood amazed at the power of the storm. This chair was in my backyard by my deck. So it flew over your house. It must have because I didn't put it there. A couple miles west, this video shows the moment the winds peeled the roof right off the Cape Sands Inn. I just saw the roof blow up and then come back down and we ran into the bathroom. The wind was whipping really bad and rain was coming at us sideways. Meteorologists from the National Weather Service are now surveying the damage as they look for telltale signs of a twister as people here now begin a long and difficult cleanup. This is what you want in July, yeah, and we still have hurricane season coming in September. Yeah, they're certainly familiar with hurricanes here on the Cape, but these tornadoes just so rare, and this is the damage they leave behind. This is one, two, three, maybe four Big pine trees here all in a pile now just waiting to be cut up. We're live in South Yarmouth tonight. John Atwater, WCBB News Center 5.